Hello folks, it's Abfielder here with a quick look at this week's Snapshot 22W11A. It's the first of the 1.19 snapshots and there is a lot to get through in this episode. And as you can see, the first thing we're going to look at is frogs and I've spawned in a bunch of these fellas here. Frogs, as you can see, will jump around the land. They'll also walk and here we go. We have got one swimming. They can swim as well, although they seem to navigate away from the water at the moment pretty much as quickly as they can. Now, there should be three types of... Of frogs but uh, from my testing so far I'm only seeing one now even when I've been over to the cold biome still getting the same one I'm guessing that's all they've implemented so far when you kill them uh, you should get a frog like block which is what these things are in front of me but again that doesn't seem to be implemented at the moment but we'll end up with these orange green and purple frog lights so it's always great to have more light source blocks and they look really cool they look a little bit like sea lanterns with an ever so slightly different texture. The other thing that slimes will do, and I need a slime, a slime frogs will do, is kill the small slimes. So if we get a slime that's slightly too big, there we go. So in a second, we should see some frogs. There we go, they congregate on them, and then they eat them, and you end up with the slime ball. So a new way of killing slimes, which is rather interesting. I'll do the same with magma cubes as well. Next up, we've got tadpoles, and you'll find tadpoles in the water. And if they're on the land, they'll uh, they'll jump about and die. These little brown fellas here, and uh, eventually they'll grow up into frogs. Now, if they're in a temperate, uh, warm, or cold biome, we'll change the type of frog you get. So that's how we do that. You can also catch them in a bucket. Now, it's not 100% clear exactly where tadpoles will come. If you can spawn them, you can get uh, frog spawn in the uh, in the creative menu, but it's uh, it's not exactly, exactly clear where that's going to come from. But anyway, that is frogs and tadpoles, and it's great to have a new light source block. Next up then, we have mangrove. And mangrove, there is a lot to go through, so we're going to go through all these blocks as quickly as we can. We obviously have the, the logs and the wood here, and then the stripped variants as well, and they look absolutely fantastic. Sort of a, a very reddy, sort of orangey-pink kind of colour, I guess. Very, very nice indeed. Then we have the roots. Those are the roots. Those are the muddy roots, and they are a fantastic looking block. We have the leaves. And then over here, we have the mangrove proper ghouls. I think I'm saying that correctly. Essentially, the saplings. Now, if we bone meal that at the moment, it turns into an oak tree. That's why there's a bee's nest over there. Then we have the planks, the, uh, the slabs, the fence and the fence gates, the steps, the buttons, the pressure plates, the doors. Over here, we have the boat. And last but not least, of course, we have that sign with that very important message on. Yeah, you can't read it. It says subscribe to me, folks, especially if you're enjoying this video. OK, let's jump on to the next new blocks in this week's change. Next up, then we have mud. Mud will be found in the upcoming mangrove biome. And mud is this block here, this very sort of dark. I want to say dark grey, dark sort of purple coloured block here. It's a very nice looking block. Now, that might be a problem. Mud can also be crafted using a water bottle. So you can use this by doing it by hand or by using a dispenser. If I just right click on that, it turns into mud. We can also create packed mud. And you can see I've got some wheat in my inventory because I was wondering what the recipe for this would be. But for packed mud, it's mud and wheat. And then we get the packed mud block. And then from there, we can use packed mud to create these new mud brick blocks. And these are fantastic. So we have the full brick block there, the slab, the stair, and the wall as well. So many good new blocks that are coming in this update. I don't think I appreciated just how many we've got. Before we move on to the next section, folks, if you're looking for a fun free to play on survival server, then come join my Discord. Link is in the top right hand corner. You need to join the Discord and then we can get you whitelisted on the server and it's absolutely fantastic. Let's move on to the next section, folks. So next up then, folks, we are down in the caves and it's because we're looking for the new biome, the deep dark biome. This is down in the caves. It's very dimly lit. It's very eerie. And at the moment, you get the skulk and you get the skulk veins as well. Let me put some torches down here so you can actually see what this looks like. But yeah, this is, a, this is a nice start. It's going to be interesting to see how this develops. 
It doesn't have the ancient cities in this snapshot, but you can have a look at the experimental snapshots and have a look at the ancient cities. Check out my video on that subject. In fact, I'll put a link to it in the description below. If you have enjoyed this video, then please consider liking it. And we're over 5,000 subscribers now. Let's get to 10,000. Let's make that happen this year. Please consider subscribing to the channel. But anyway, that's all I have time for this week. I'm Ab Fielder. Goodbye.